Today, we're gonna to be checking out the KSR Series pedal. Today, we're gonna to be checking out the KSR Series preamp. Now, I tried this thing at NAMM, was totally blown away by it. I absolutely loved it. A bunch of the other guys did too. Other booths were plugging it in and going, wow, this thing sounds absolutely great. So I hit up Kyle. I was like, dude, I've got to put this on my channel. I've got to demo this. And I've got to really have this in this huge preamp shootout I have coming out uh, because it just has to be here. It wouldn't be a metal preamp shootout with, without this. And so he sent me this loaner and I was just going to you know, send it back to him after a week. And I fell in love with it. And the next day I was like, I've, I've got to buy this from you. Let me buy this from you. And I, I just sent on the money. Now it's mine because it sounds so good. Now, what makes this different from other preamp pedals? Um, it's the most amp like out of any preamp pedal I've used. I know a lot of people use amp like and stuff like that. But what I mean by that is its features. This is a three channel, if you want it to be, preamp. On the bypass mode, when the logo goes green, it can be buffered bypass, true bypass, or it can actually be a clean that has its own level control and tone control. Super useful if you want to switch between gain tones and clean tones. Uh, and then when you go to the blue channel, which is the rhythm channel, and the lead channel, which is the white channel, they share the same uh, control setup. But those controls are independent of each other, so you can set up completely different tones. You can have a nice chunky rhythm, go into a huge fat lead, uh, you can go into what kind of like I like to use it. I like the lead channel actually for extended range, lower tune stuff, um, just because it's kind of really tight and aggressive. And then the rhythm stuff, I actually found I could fatten up really nice for for lead tones. Uh, and I could also use this as like a crunch tone into a high gain tone as well. Uh, both set up completely independently of each other. Now, what's really cool and what makes this thing really customizable for your tone and whatever kind of tone you want are the three switch controls. You have a bright, a feel, and a mode. Now, the bright's pretty self-explanatory, just adds extra high end. You don't really notice it too much when it's on with high gain, but you'll notice it with lower gain. Uh, the feel is kind of like a tightness, low end control. In the center, it's really tight. Works great for <laughs> drop A on a seven string. Uh, up is going to be more of a mid thump. I found that pretty good for more six string stuff. Um, definitely added some aggression for it. And down is just a really saturated low end, low mid. Um, that's really good if you want fat solos or if you want to throw an overdrive in front of it. And then finally, the mode control controls the overall gain structure. So up is going to be more of a crunch kind of style. It's going to be a three gain stage. Down is going to be more of a higher gain from there. It's going to be a four gain stage. And then where I liked it a lot for a lot of the more aggressive stuff was the center, which is a five gain stage. So I'm going to have it in a mix and then I'm going to have it outside of the mix so you can just hear some tones kind of cover everything for you. So let's check it out.